Good morning. We will be starting in one minute. All right, good morning again, everyone. Uh, welcome to this Navient webinar, Artificial Intelligence and Optical Character Recognition, How Brainware is Transforming Intelligent Capture, or otherwise known as the science behind the software. Um, my name is Ed Majeska, and I look forward to spending the next two hours with you. Just kidding, but I do look forward to spending uh, the next 30 minutes with you. For those of you that have attended previous Brainware webinars with us on topics like AP invoice processing, this isn't that webinar. We still do those, and in fact, we have a very focused webinar on AP invoice, invoice automation next month on May 22nd. Mark your calendars. But today, we're going to focus on something different, on really what makes Brainware different, the science behind the software. A few logistics and reminders, all lines have been muted this morning as this webinar is being recorded. A link will be distributed by email to all attendees after the webinar. So we live in, in amazing times. Some of you have may, may have seen this quote before, um, I keep saying Alexa when I mean to say Siri, and I just can't believe I live in a time when I'm getting my servant robots names mixed up. Call them digital assistants or servant robots. We have welcomed artificial intelligence into our everyday lives. We walk with them. We talk to them. We carry them around in our pockets. We even wake up with them next to our bed. Not that that's not creepy at all, but they have fundamentally changed our lives and the impact of similar artificial intelligence and robotic process automation in our business lives is, is truly equally transformative. Now, while Highland's content services platform has specific robotic process automation solutions as well, again, this is not our focus this morning. We do have, Navient is presenting a specific robotic process automation webinar uh, on May 15th. So again, mark your calendars for that one. But again, we're gonna be looking at artificial intelligence through the eyes of optical character recognition. Um, OCR tools have undergone a, a, a real quiet revolution over the past few years through industry consolidation, technology advancements, optimizing, you know, transaction validation and straight through process management through this artificial intelligence. And as the truly undisputed industry leader, which we'll talk about in a little bit here, Brainware's artificial intelligence analyzes these data sets and patterns through patented and science-based technologies. And this is gonna be our focus for the next 30 minutes. And, and for those of you that may not be aware, Navient is Highland's oldest and most experienced partner with the Brainware platform, with some of the largest global customers uh, around. And in fact, Navient was the very first Brainware partner in the United States long before Brainware's multiple acquisitions, which I'll also be talking to in a few minutes. So hang on, this is gonna be a fast paced 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna begin with what is Brainware? We're gonna briefly discuss industry consolidation that I, I just mentioned and really evolution of OCR. And since this is a artificial intelligence focused webinar, we are gonna spend some time reviewing the science behind the technology, um, sharing Brainware user experience, discussing pre-configured Brainware solutions, reviewing some uh, deployment options lately at the end, and then leaving you with some resources um, on your own. So. Let's start with 
the basics. What is brainware and, and truly why should you consider it? The reality is that more than 80% of intelligence, business intelligence remains trapped inside of manually processed unstructured documents. Things like invoices, purchase orders, shipping, bills of lading, remittance, contracts, loan origination documents, transcripts, and, and so much more. And, and with the majority of those documents truly being unstructured, you know, with changing formats and data variability and complexity, it really makes data and processes for businesses to be challenging, um, challenging to manage, challenging to control. And this is really where Brainware comes in. By analyzing data, data sets and patterns of data through patented technology, Yes, again, I'm going to repeat that, patented technology. Brainware artificial intelligence significantly reduces that manual data entry through this automated language agnostic extraction um, and science. It automatically verifies the data, its accuracy, ultimately speeding transaction processing from days to hours, allowing you to have your teams refocus their productivity, productivity on value added activities. So at its simplest definition, Brainware is an intelligent capture technology that uses OCR. That's what it is. Um, the capabilities of that Brainware platform can really be defined by these six categories. The first of which is capture. And I'm gonna talk about each of these a little bit more, but to give you a, a very high level overview of these categories, capture, which is that ingestion of paper if it needs to be scanned, email, fax, electronic documents, then reading the data on that document. And that's where we're gonna spend some time on this reading and classifying, you know, what type of document is it? Is it an invoice, is it an order, a correspondence, a statement? Then extracting whether it's header or footer information or line item detail, but more importantly, not just extracting it, but validating that the data through intelligence to third-party systems, and then any exceptions or decisions that need to be managed by a knowledge worker are then verified, um, presented it to that verifier user, and then exporting it to your target system. You know, Brainware being agnostic to what that line of business ERP or ECM tool might be. Brainware then also includes an analytical reporting engine for things like exception management, business data intelligence, and process insight. So with that brief overview, you already may be asking yourself, well, I'm familiar with OCR, and aren't there others that do this? Well, there used to be. So I want to briefly talk about industry consolidation here um, and, and really dial back the calendar about 10 years. Uh, on your screen, you will see these were the top five um, undisputed intelligent OCR tools available, Brainware, AnyDoc, Kofax, OnBase, and, and ReadSoft. Note um, the different Brainware logo, true to history. Um, uh, I'm glad they, they changed that over the years, but that was the original Brainware logo when Navient started working with them. So then... Perceptive Software, some of you may have heard that. Perceptive Software came along and acquired Brainware, and then Perceptive was quickly acquired by Lexmark, the, the copier people. So Perceptive slash Lexmark acquired Brainware, and they rebranded Brainware as Perceptive Intelligent Capture. Then Lexmark acquired ReadSoft. And then Highland, who had their own product, said, on basis OCR, said, um, we're going to acquire AnyDoc. And then Lexmark came along and said, we're going to acquire Kofax. So now we've reached this point a few years ago where all of the major OCR intelligent tools were owned by two organizations, Highland and Lexmark. But then something happened. Lexmark was acquired by Apex. Apex, for those of you who may not be familiar with that name, is a Chinese toner company who is very much interested in Lexmark's hardware business, not so much their software business. So Apex decided to sell off that software portion of their portfolio. So Highland came along, and Highland and Toma Bravo, for those of you not familiar with that name, Toma Bravo is the portfolio holding company for Highland Software. So kind of use them in, you know, uh, interchangeably here. But Toma Bravo, Highland came along and said in 2017, we'll make a bid, and essentially 
they acquired that entire Lexmark slash perceptive software portfolio. And the Toma Bravo let Highlands leadership, because that was their core competency, sort it out, sort out the strategy, re roadmap, re-evaluate. And as a result of that evaluation and where the technologies were going, they spun off ReadSoft and Cofax as separate legacy technologies and recognized and announced uh, about a year ago exactly that all future development um, would be on this Brainware platform, which is really why we're talking about it today. Um, so not only has this consolidation within the industry changed, but OCR itself has evolved. First generation OCR, and there's a lot of it still out there, um, is template-based. So template-based first generation OCR requires zones, templates for structured, predictable extraction of data. As long as it's in a certain area, it can be lifted by that OCR tool. But then that evolved to, in a much smaller set of, of tools out there, became second generation. And that second generation evolved to memory-based extraction where software essentially learned, again, still based on location and user inputs, but there was some learning involved. But really where we've evolved to today, especially with Brainware, is this third generation, which uses artificial intelligence. Brainware applies a true neural network of scientific deductive reasoning to reach certainty and conclusions on that data on its own. It is so much more than OCR and reading language. It is truly artificial intelligence, scientific approach to data capture. And, and this is what makes Brainware's accuracy so much higher, improving classification and extraction, driving automation, reducing human touch points. In fact, Brainware's scientific variances and differences have been documented, they've been benchmarked, and again, they've been patented. So since this webinar, is a webinar on artificial intelligence. This is where we are going to go full game on scientific for a few minutes. So to start with, Brainware is this highly developed platform. It is based, created, maintained, enhanced by science, not just software developers. Uh, there are truly humans behind uh, Brainware that include full-time dedicated teams of PhD scientists with backgrounds in neuroscience, physics, and engineering. Imagine, if you will, a team of Sheldon Cooper type geniuses working with the software developers, but these are the people that are driving the creation, maintenance, and enhancements of the Brainware platform. It is truly scientifically based. And this team has developed the Brainware engine and the algorithms based on science-based advantages, and there are many of them. I'm gonna to touch on a few of them uh, today, trying not to go too terribly deep, but I do wanna kind of instill the, the depth of the science-based advantages for you. And the first of which here is really seeing patterns. Sometimes even before applying optical character recognition, the technology and brainware sees patterns of information to determine where important information lies. In this transcript example, so imagine higher education transcripts. In this example, things like um, complex stacked tables and repeated patterns are identified. The red and the blue and the green that you see on the screen, these boxes, lines, markers, they recognize these patterns such as headers and formats and multi-row tables and column formats without templates or prior knowledge, just like a human being reads and looks at a document that even might be unknown. It recognizes you know, the formats of, of and patterns of these documents. And next, hue lines are used for feature detection. Now, we're still not talking about OCR yet. The hue analysis engine uses statistics of linear aligned detective and identified pixel clusters to determine document structures on images. These elements could be for things like tables and lines, stamps, logos, words, other character sets. And this data analysis engine then gathers and generates fault tolerant word candidates based on characters, character fragments, and once that's all done, it groups these image objects according to common orientations. So there is so much going on here. And once that's all done, then it's auto-cleaned by the engine to find tabular data on a document. 
auto cleaning. This auto cleaned information then is provided finally to the extraction engine to perform the work. So, so much engineering science is happening well before we're starting to talk about OCR. So now let's talk about extraction. Optical character recognition, OCR, converting image text to raw data is actually the easiest part. The sophistication then becomes once that OCR lift happens, that conversion of image text to data, this sophistication now is in interpreting data and turning that into usable information. So this is where Brainware's patented artificial intelligence also kicks in. That includes what's called trigram matching. Trigram matching. Trigram matching is the method for processing in Brainware the OCR extracted text. And this is in sharp contrast to other vendors who index by keywords and then try to discover metadata and use language dictionaries. Instead, the Brainware technique involves the scientific language agnostic trigram image patterns of three letter sequences. So for example, when the word brainware is analyzed, it is stored as a representation of trigrams, BRA, RAI, AIN, INW, etc. So instead of trying to match up words and entire words, brainware matches these trigrams, which allows the application to yield relevant results with, without relying on things like language or dictionaries or other predefined rules. It's the versatility. So how does this all come together? So as I mentioned uh, earlier, Brainware uses the science and patented AI and robotic process automation engine that we've discussed to analyze and classify and extract and process documents and information. But when a document is surfaced that is questionable, this is where the Brainware dynamic variance network kicks in. And you all listening on this webinar probably thought the science portion of our webinar was done. Well, not quite yet. So this additional intelligence allows Brainware to not only be accurate, but to be flexible. And we're talking about this dynamic variance network now. Brainware doesn't memorize. Instead, it generalizes through this DVN for self-learning. Here are two invoices that look similar, but they have variances. So with no templates applied, the DVN, this dynamic variance network, intelligently recognizes these variances leading to better extraction, more automated data validation. The way this works is the dynamic variance network further calculates vectors. So it's calculating vectors between all the OCR words on the document, and it overcomes OCR errors and formatting variances, including as these fields shift, so the DVN recognizes these vectors and the vector changes more importantly. And this is all accomplished through this combination of artificial intelligence, essentially self-learning and robotic process automation. So the self-learning allows these questionable documents to run through the system, be recognized by the Brainware engine, and then presented to a verifier user for verification and true intelligent learning into the artificial intelligence and robotic process automation engines within Brainware so that this automated processing can now continue and be appropriately managed in future instances of the same or similar documents completely on its own. So that's the bulk of the science. So let's talk about the user experience and the process for a moment. So first, the document is captured. And, and from a capture standpoint, again, if it's paper, it needs to be scanned. Um, ideally, we don't want to turn an electronic document into paper to scan it. So there's options to import it or electronically ingest it from email or faxes, but we capture that document. The next step is for that Brainware engine to then ingest the document, but apply those scientific algorithms and OCR extraction processing that we've been discussing. So without templates, Brainware classifies, extracts, validates the data elements, including in this example, line item detail. Initially, during configuration, Brainware only needs to see a very small set of each customer's examples to understand how to classify a given document type and where to extract important information. It's an incredibly efficient, efficient process since it's leveraging this AI engine 
without templates. So once that data is now extracted and validated um, by the engine, then Brainware validates this data back to a customer's line of business application. As many of our customers have, like uh, other global organizations, Brainware has the ability to validate this data against multiple ERPs. This is really that other intelligence that we haven't talked upon or touched upon yet, and it is critically important. Brainware is essentially special sauce, I'm doing air quotes here, Brainware special sauce of proprietary algorithms and purpose-built integrations allow Brainware to validate this data to your line of business application, including line item detail pairing, even posting of that data uh, um, to your ERP without manual in intervention. And, and this validation includes many, many things. Things like PO lookups, is this a real PO number? Um, line pairing, do all of the line items extracted match up to that PO instance in your ERP? Things like vendor lookups, is this for an existing uh, vendor? Um, or are there other vendors that, that may be applicable? Um, bill to names, is this invoice really for us? Um, and invoice calculations, essentially, do the numbers add up? Um, taxes, shipping, et cetera, not just all the line items. So there is so much going into this validation prior to it's being presented to the user. So now let me show you what this looks like from a user perspective. This is an example of an invoice. Uh, it happens to be a non-PO invoice, but we've, we've shown the line item detail be, being extracted here as well. So here's a non-PO invoice, line item detail has been captured along with vendor information, the validation has already occurred against the ERP's vendor master. And, and from a layout, the left panel that you see on your screen shows that extracted and validated information um, from the yellow fields of the image that's on the right panel. So this is where that data is coming from. And by clicking on any of those fields in the image, like if you look on the lower right-hand corner of that image in red in the right panel, that total amount of $100.99 is also then presented in a zoom view of, uh, of that data, and that's presented at the bottom panel on the screen. So there's three primary panels here. This example, is actually an invoice that we purposefully paused to grab this shot. And this would typically not even be shown to the verifier user. It would typically pass through without that verifier user even seeing it because everything on that invoice was extracted and validated exactly as needed to realize straight through processing from capture to posting with absolutely no human intervention or correction. Here is yet another example of a similar fully extracted, validated PO invoice, including line item detail. Again, this is more PO based. Again, all of these fields were extracted without templates, valid, validated back to the ERP vendor master, including line item pairing in this case, because there was an existing PO in the system and validated. Um, again, we paused it for the screenshot, but here's another example of an invoice that would typically pass through without a verifier user even seeing it, straight through processing to posting. Finally, here's a third example. This is another PO invoice example, but this time, this invoice went through the extraction, went through the automated engine for validation, but it did require a user to verify some information. And in this example, the balancing amount did not match the total. So Brainware paused it and would present this invoice to the verifier user, the knowledge worker, including highlighting the fields on the left that needs attention and a message in the lower pane. That lower pane, because this, this balancing amount didn't match the total, verif verification was required and that message in that lower panel to the user says total amount does not match sum of subtotal freight and tax amounts. So it's providing very specific instructions to the verifier on what the, in, the engine found and those, those data fields to focus on. So since freight was not identified, $0, the user can quickly confirm the freight data as $507.18 by either clicking on that value or manually entering this one single data field. And with that verification completed, the document is now completely in balance. Then all of the other line item details that were extracted correctly, the verifier can move on to the next invoice. Since everything was extracted 
uh, correctly, it eliminated that manual entry of, of literally 99% plus of the data that would have previously been entered manually in the past without Brainware. So since our focus this morning isn't doing live demos, I'm gonna move on from the user experience, but um, we would be very, very happy to coordinate any further live demos. Just feel free to give us a call. I also wanted to speak briefly about visibility. Visibility is the name within the Brainware suite. Um, it is the reporting tool. Visibility provides immediate access to metrics, key performance indicators uh, that report on the status of every document and the process. It, it really provides this view of how it's performed, what the knowledge workers are doing, and what managers should focus their time and attention on. This example um, shows some of the real-time reporting, dashboards, analytics available. The reports um, are both pre-built and a user can do ad hoc reports. It's all drag and drop design tools. Management dashboards can, can show the flow of documents, the efficiency of the capture process, even things like uh, data extraction rates, processing statistics by vendors, the performance metrics by your individual verifiers, anything that's happening within the system is being recorded and is reportable uh, on. So let's talk about where Brainware solutions are typically used. There really are two key parts of Brainware to understand. There is that core Brainware engine. This is the science, the artificial intelligence, the robotic process automation that we've been discussing for classification and extraction. And this core engine allows for Brainware's foundation to really be used anywhere. But for the typical best practice solutions, Brainware has pre-configured solutions or called projects for invoices, transcripts, remittance. And I wanna review each of these very briefly here. Uh, Brainware for invoices first is probably one of the most commonly used capabilities. Brainware for invoices is used by countless global organizations within finance departments, shared services centers, uh, business process outsourcers to manage that intelligent and automated invoice capture, classification, extraction, validation, posting. The solution is capable of managing multiple global currencies. It's language agnostic. Um, it can export that transaction data to ERPs, ECMs. Um, it extracts international tax types, PSD, GST, VAT taxes. Ultimately, the benefits of automation is having fewer FTEs required for faster processing, more supplier discounts, those type of things. Brainware Transcripts is also a well-established solution within the higher education industry where university admission departments um, their processing is highly competitive. They're competing for early selection of qualified candidates and ultimately their tuition dollars. So the transcript solution extracts data from these complex tables. It extracts and validates things like applicant institution courses, grades, really for the benefit of faster processing so they can review, select, and get those tuition dollars um, and commitments. So, and then finally, Brainware for Remittance is a great solution designed not for banks, but for customers, allowing corporate customers like yourself to save money, the bank fees on processing of these remittance transactions. So the Brainware for Remittance solution can extract and reconcile the check and the remit data um, and export that back to the ERP solution. So as you can see, Regardless of the focus of the documents or the department, the benefits are really the same. It is all about reducing that overall cost of data acquisition, ensuring the validity and accuracy of that data, and maximizing, simplifying, speeding up the processing, and improving your cycle times, allowing your users to focus on value-added tasks. So I wanna briefly spend a minute or two on some deployment questions that were commonly asked. One of the most common questions were asked, especially since the acquisition by Highland is, do we now need OnBase to use Brainware? And that answer is no, absolutely not. There are actually various options for deploying Brainware, depending upon your existing environment or your preferred future state environment. So you can absolutely deploy Brainware all by itself. If you have an existing capture or import process and an existing ECM solution or don't need, feel uh, you have a need for an ECM solution, 
we can deploy Brainware as a standalone solution. We can also leverage OnBase by Highland for Capture and Brainware. So if you don't have, or if there's value in a new or better capture solution, OnBase, which is part of the Highland platform, can also be implemented with Brainware, or we can utilize the whole entire Highland platform, OnBase and Brainware, and this approach would obviously leverage the full holistic value of capture workflow, Brainware, ERP integrations of the Highland suite. All of this is available either on-prem, on-premise deployment, or in the cloud. So we have been doing this a long time. Um, as we begin to wrap up this morning session, I want to share with you some resources that you have available. Obviously, the first is Navient's website. We have solution summaries, case studies, videos, overviews, and more, simply Navient.com. Um, next, for existing customers, hopefully you're familiar with the Highland community. If not, simply navigate to community.highland.com and request a login and a password. But the Highland community has an extensive list of overviews, blog sites, support information, modular reference guides, PowerPoints, videos, and more. Also, for existing customers, the Highland product documentation portal, docs.highland.com, provides technical product documentation for many of the items that we have discussed this morning. Um, and I can't forget about training. So the Highland training website for existing customers, training.highland.com, this site provides a comprehensive list of all training resources available, including both instructor-led courses and self-paced courses. There is really so much awesome material out there. Just reach out to us, let us know what you're looking for. We have product overviews and customer case studies and white papers and, and articles. And finally, uh, I would encourage you to save the date our 2019 Navient Summit Momentum is coming up in October. I know that seems like a long way away, but it's really approaching faster than we all think. So October in the Dells this year, we will have dedicated sessions and experts on Brainware, and this is really an opportunity to learn and network with your peers and hear from industry experts and receive hands-on training. So with that, I thank you. I hope that our goal this morning to provide an overview on the science behind the software was achieved and that it was beneficial. If you're looking for more information on any of these items today or would like a business or a technical discussion or even a demonstration on one of these solutions, please uh, reach out to either our marketing department or feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is on the screen uh, by phone or email. As a reminder, our amazing marketing department will be sending out an email to each of you with a link to this morning's webinar. And again, we really appreciate you spending these 30 minutes of your time with us this morning. Thank you again. Again, we hope you have an amazing day.